Hello everyone, I've got a video for you on how to play as Zagara using her ground army. So this is going to be a 2.0 video, I'm going to put that in my 2.0 playlist uh, as well playing as Zagara level 15. So this is what I typically do while I'm leveling and I've made another video on this before also of what I mainly do. I play on Void Thrashing and I just play it over and over and over again on Brutal Difficulty and I find that's the fastest way to level up. And I think I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. Playing this mission while playing as Zagara is extremely fast. Now another really fast mission is Lock and Load, but I find Void Thrashing to be even quicker. And it doesn't even really matter who my teammate is. Now I may get a bad teammate this playthrough, I may get a good teammate. But either way, I typically get you know under 15 minute uh, playthroughs when I'm doing... Uh, this type of grinding for leveling up and I'm only one more uh, match away from leveling up especially with that holiday bonus experience so for my mastery skill points allocation I have currently power set 1 Zagar life and energy regeneration power set 2 everything's in baneling attack damage and power set 3 everything is in larva spawn rate okay and that's just about it we're gonna go ahead and find a random player Okay, looks like our player is Jose Juan, if that's how you say it. I believe that might be it. Hopefully, if this person watches this video, and that person will be playing as Stukov, Mastery Level 37. This should be really interesting. The additional creep actually might help us play through this even quicker. I don't think I've actually, I don't think I have actually tried this um, with Stukov before considering how much I've uh, played on this sp specific mission. I just haven't run into a Stukov player while playing as Zagara. So this will be interesting. Okay, so I am going to rush towards a spawning pool right away, and then I'm going to start building a extractor on the Vespin Geyser. And I'm doing that just because I really want to get an expansion right away super strong economy. I say this all the time in all my videos. Gotta get the economy strong, so getting that spawning pool right away, and then I'm gonna be able to build a ton of zerglings, because they warp in like almost instantly. And then we'll save up for a nice a nice um, let's see here. We will save up for a nice hatchery. Can't even think of words. <laughs> Very excited, because I love playing as Zagara. Zagara is so fun. Okay, so what we're going to do is just start spamming a ton of overlords because I'm supply blocked and we're going to get a lot of drones. And the best part about Zagara is you get two drones off of each one of their, uh, every time you morph a drone out of each one of these Zerg cocoons, it pops out two drones and I love that. Zagara is a very powerful commander. I just find where Zagara is weak is when you're playing on weekly mutations. She's so strong in clearing out easy stuff very quickly, but when it comes to difficult missions, when the units are much more tough than normal, that's where Z uh, Zagara kind of struggles because, you know, her units aren't strong enough. They can do a lot of damage, but if you just use, like, mainly Banelings, which I'm going to be mostly doing here for you guys, it's just not going to be strong enough. I mean, Banelings are going to die right away, and once the Banelings are dead, you need to replenish your army, but... You know, if you're facing a really strong army, it's still going to be alive and it'll crush you. It just, it doesn't work out very well, unfortunately. So, I mean, I know some people definitely can succeed in the weak mutations with her, but I don't find her to be the best. Okay. Now we're going to keep on getting these drones on the extractors. I want to get a lot of gas because we're going to be using a ton of banelings. We're going to get all the upgrades and a ton of banelings. And because this is going to be such a quick playthrough, I'm not even going to waste my time. Well, geez, I'm not saving up. I cleared out these rocks, and I'm not even saving up for a hatchery right now. What am I doing? Okay, but yeah, we definitely want a lot of gas because Banelings. Banelings and upgrades. <laughs> Need I say more? Banelings. Alright, so we're going to morph in a bunch of these Banelings real quick like. And for those of you who don't know, I'm sure you guys do know. You only get uh, one Baneling nest for Zagara. So, 
keep that in mind. You can't actually create more than one. If you have plans for creating for using a strategy where you create multiple bane lanes, that's because they generate free bane lanes. It won't work for you, unfortunately. So sorry to, uh, you know, destroy your hopes. <laughs> but uh, you you can build a ton of zerglings, a lot of them, and that's pretty much all you need to do. And then you just kind of walk in Zagara after everything's cleared out with all the bane lanes, and then yeah, that's all you have to do, and it works out really well. And I pretty much missed that mainly barrage right there. That wasn't so great. Oh well. And I make sure to use uh, Mass Frenzy a lot while I'm moving around Zagara. So that's uh, the E hotkey while you're using her. And then Q, Q's the Baneling Barrage, and then W for the spawn. Hunter Killers. Jeez, I actually did not look at their names before. Hunter Killers. Which are these Hydralis. And I have uh, Zagara's energy regeneration up a lot with those mastery skill points and I do that over her attack damage because she attacks really slowly and I believe you can increase her abilities attack damage through upgrading her damage in the skill mastery skill points too but I just find the energy regeneration is so much better because if you don't have enough energy to use the skills what's the point of having increased damage on the skills if you can't use it that's my opinion and if you're using the skills constantly, it's a lot better to keep on having the energy available. So that's that's my opinion, and I find it to work uh, much better for my playstyle. You guys may find the extra damage to be better, but that is up to you, I suppose. Okay, and then another thing I like to do is I like to hotkey my both of my hatcheries directly on top of Zagara. And then I also like to do the same thing with my Bane Lane Nest. And then I'm going to set some hotkeys for my Bane Lane Nest also. Well, I suppose I need to clear that out too. But here in one second I'll... Okay, so yeah, I'm going to put hotkey number 6 for my Bane Lane Nest. Hotkey number 5 for my spawning pool. And then I'm going to start morphing... Well, actually I need queens too. Then I'm going to uh, morph these guys. Oh, I already have one queen here. Alright, this one's going first I guess. We're morphing that into a, a lair. Okay, so I need overlords. <laughs> Jeez, I let everything go. Ah. Okay, looks like we're going to have to go back here. We're not going to be able to attack quite yet because there is an attack coming for us. Okay, we're going to morph in a ton of these banelings real quick. It should be going straight into the center here. We'll be ready in time for this. Okay, and we're just going to run straight over everything. There we go. <clears throat> and this is the beauty of Zagara. <laughs> Just walk right in and decimate everything. And it looks like my teammate even used it in used infested structure. So we were able to clear that whole area out very quickly. Okay. Now other thing I like to do is put hockey number four for my queen down at my expansion, and I do hockey number three for my queen at my main base. Alright, and I need to set this hotkey for my Bane Lunas on Zagar. So now as you guys can see, this is, see these uh, waypoints right here? This is from both of my hatcheries, and then this right here is from my Bane Lune Nest. And I'm going to get the Corrosive Acid upgrade now. That increases the damage of Bane Lunes by 100%. Make sure to get all the upgrades from your Bane Lune Nest. I'll go over the next one once we get there in a second, once we get the Hive upgraded. But yes, yeah, so, so important to get uh, the upgrades for your Bane Lunes. And then we're going to start getting upgrades for Zerglings. I'm not going to worry too much about Metabolic Boost since we have Creep everywhere. I I mean, they're moving fast enough. I, I don't need to worry too much about it. We'll worry about that in a second here. I do want to ha actually get Overlord Speed though. Because I do want to get Overseers. And I want them to be able to follow along with Zagara. And how quickly she's moving. Alright, looks like we're able to clear out this stuff pretty effectively. I use Mass Frenzy again, that grants all friendly units on the map 15% attack speed and I believe it's 25% increased movement speed for 15 seconds. So basically increasing the attack speed increase your damage per second. Okay, so yeah, as you can see hotkey number 3 for the main queen. And I do need to start gaining- oh shoot I just cancelled an upgrade. Uh, <laughs> oh I already have the layer. Jeez. Okay, I need to get Pneumatized Carapace, increase the movement speed of my overlords, and I need to start getting a hive at my expansion because I did this backwards. Messing up while I'm giving commentary. And then I will start getting Heroic Fortitude and Medusa Blades. 
So Heroic Fortitude increases uh, Zagara's life by 200, and Life Regeneration increased by 100%. And then the other upgrade I just got, which is uh, Medusa Blades. Zagara's attacks deal area damage, slashing to enemy units uh, near her primary target. So both of those upgrades are very helpful for Zagara. I don't find those to be extremely important to get. I should have gotten Evolution Chambers much sooner here. I would generally say get your uh, melee attacks and ground carapace upgraded first if you're going to be using banelings. Because, I mean, your banelings are going to be doing like all of the work for you. So you want to get those guys upgraded first. And then start getting these abilities for Zagara. But because I'm doing this a little late, I'm modifying my strategy slightly. Okay, now this last upgrade we're going to get is Rupture. Baneling Blast for Radius increased by 50%. So basically, once it, the Baneling blows up, Allies boom. The 50% bigger boom. <laughs> so it, it hits that much, that many more things. Alright, and we're going to wait a sec before we run up this ramp. We want a ton of Banelings. We'll clear everything out in a second here. But we just want to make sure to have all of these Banelings ready. I have no idea what my uh, Zagara is doing. Just use the hold command for a second there. Okay, now we're going to start gaining melee attacks level 1 and ground carapace level 1. I have way too many drones, so I'm just going to throw some uh, some of these guys down here. Okay, I'm going to take these guys back. Alright, yeah, I'm going to throw down some spines. Because I have way too many minerals and way too many uh, drones at my expansion. Alright, this is going to be a little bit laggy because everything's about to blow up. And I'm also gonna drop down my Hunter Killers, which are those Hydra lists again. And I'm gonna keep on microing Zagara for You wanna use this Baneling Barrage ability as much as you can. All right, there we go. Yeah, so that, that got cleared out so extremely easily. I didn't even use all my Banelings there. Okay, and then we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and attack this. We won't be able to finish off. I didn't make enough banelings in time, so this guy's gonna get away. But that's okay. We'll just run over to the other side really quickly. And we'll just clear out the rest of this stuff here and then run back. And we're just gonna immediately send over a ton of these zerglings over there. All right, we're, we're sitting really good here. As you can see, there's creeps spread across the entire map at this moment. So we don't even have to worry about putting down any creep tumors because of Stukov. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is, ooh, what the heck? Did a stasis ward just hit me or something? That was weird. Yeah, it must have. Geez, I don't think I've actually uh, noticed that hitting me before on this map. I know we are playing against Protoss, but I just haven't asked. I don't remember it actually happening. All right, so Banelings cleared that out pretty much instantly. Cigar is still over here. We got something nasty coming at us. Alright, we're going to dry everything back into these spines, because I had to set these up a little bit ago. Should be able to clear this out just fine with my Hunter Killers and Zagara with their AA damage. And I don't even need to worry about uh, the Scourges, because the enemy is not primarily uh, air, so I don't have to get that anti-air units like that Scourge or the... What's the other one you can create here? Corruptors. Yeah, just don't really have to worry about that. And because we're playing through this quite quickly, not as quickly as I would like, I mean, we're probably at like 14 minutes real time, game time, even though it says 17 StarCraft time right now. But uh, just before this, I beat this in under uh, under 15 minutes StarCraft time. But we're still doing pretty darn good. And we don't have enough time to get the rest of our upgrades, so I'll start upgrading the rest of my stuff, but we just don't have enough time to actually get them. Alright, as you can see, everything's just getting wiped out by these Banelings. Banelings do a lot of work. Okay. Um, always make sure to focus down carriers first. Otherwise, if you use the attack command, your units will focus down their little flyer units. Uh, whatever they're called. Oh, I can't actually remember right now. I'm going to lose Zagara if I'm not careful. I lost Zagara. That was unfortunate. Okay, we're going to create some more Banelings so we can wipe stuff out quicker. Interceptors, that's what they're called. Yeah, otherwise your units will focus on the Interceptors instead of the Carriers. 
It's very unfortunate when that happens if you're not looking because your units will die. Those interceptors are great distractions for the carriers. As you can see, health just completely, instantly disappears pretty much from those Baneling hits. And that was it! It took us no time to clear out this last area. So that's how I play Zagara in general, using her ground, ground army, Banelings and Zerglings. I make sure if I'm on a longer map, like uh, Vermilion, the Vermilion problem, for example, if I play that map and there is not a lot of air units attacking us, I will make sure to get all the upgrades, you know, all the melee and carapace upgrades, all the upgrades for the Banelings and all the upgrades for the Zerglings from the spawning pool. So it's very important to get all those upgrades always. Sometimes less important than others because depending on the amount of time you have or the, if you have limited resources like on a mutation. But I generally find uh, this strategy be very effective. Now if there's a lot of air units, I, I may make it, well actually I probably am, most likely I'm going to make another video on how to use Zagara with her an air army with using Scourge and those uh, Corruptors. So I'll explain that at another time, but hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I finally leveled up. It looks like I need 595,000 more experience to get to level 85. That's going to take a long time. <laughs> Lots more grinding to do. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video.